Okay, now we've got the cushion back on. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and trim out part of this side panel here for our control pack to go back through. This is going to be a control pack. As you see, there's nothing cut already for this to go back in, so we're going to have to do a little doctoring here, trim that out. Now, the reason we don't pre-trim these before we ship them is because there's several different power options, and so we don't want, and all the different cutting is not universal for all the different options. So we leave a blank, and you can trim it to to uh, use for your own seat. So what we're going to do here, and I'm trying to turn the seat here so I can get you can see a good shot on the inside a little bit. Let's see if I can try to point out where we're going to trim. This area from here, from, from here to here, and then going down from the bottom and across. Kind of a big rectangle here, okay? And you can see and you can push through the frame from the outside, okay? That's kind of the area that we have to work with to trim out. So, I always say it's kind of like a haircut. You can always cut a little more. You can't glue it back up. So, you're going to feel in this middle of this, hole, of this pouch here where it's definitely empty. We're going to go ahead and start and we're going to cut a small hole in the middle. And you get the foam backing underneath the side vinyl as well, so you get to cut that out also. I usually start with a little oval here. And then it gives me a little window inside of the seat. So I know right here is the bottom of the frame. So I, can, I don't really want to cut below that. And I can pull this side up here. And now I can see the top frame. I definitely don't want to trim any higher than that. Now there is a little bit of forgiveness here because the plastic paneling does cover up some of it. So if you do cut a little bit more, you're not dead in the water. You do have a little bit of a cheat room there. But you want to try to get as close as possible the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and... Kind of look through your window and see how far down you can go. We're going to kind of just start trimming that a little bit at a time. You just kind of get about an inch or so. And then I'll go ahead and cut that off. And kind of reassess and see where I'm at again. So, I've got about another half inch until I hit this panel. So I'm going to kind of cut down this wall a little bit. Get down just kind of see where my inside frame is. You don't want to go all the way to the frame. You want to kind of leave it about a half inch to a quarter inch over that little lip, the, the, metal, the metal lip on the inside. So this looks like a pretty good start here on the bottom portion. I'm going to kind of turn towards the top now. Okay, I've got a little ways towards the front now. Kind of trim up here. Okay, here's part of my front plug. So we're getting close. All right, now when I think I'm getting pretty close, what I'll try to do is I'll go ahead and try to shove the, the control panel back through because this will stretch some. And so if the first time it doesn't work, you may need to trim it out a little more. You can see where it's getting hung up and you can see where you can do a little bit more cutting. But once you already got a pretty good window there, go ahead and test it out. Go ahead and give it a try, see what you can do. So I'm gonna kind of these these four prongs here are where your screws, or then the fifth one here. So all five of these gray posts are where your screws are going to come through. So those definitely need to go in. We're going to try to nestle those through the leather first and kind of stretch it around a little bit. Now I'm pretty good on the top, but I'm, I'm way short on the bottom, as you can see here. I'm kind of going in on the top, and that'll go in and stretch, but I'm a good inch and an inch and a half shy on the back. So I'm going to go and take this out, and I know I need to go ahead and trim some more on that bottom panel. So let's go ahead and give a little more, a little more here. Kind of cut up our angle. Okay, let's see how that, how that cut did for me here. Let's see if I can get the top in. The bottom's pretty close. Let's see if I can get it to get some good one in there. All right, that's looks like it's going to work. It's going to stretch around. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this panel back off. I'm going to go and reclip my power connections. The one, the two, those two connections. You get the one top one, and you get your wire in the bottom. We'll go and reconnect those, and then we're going to go ahead and run our screws in. Okay, we got our control pack back on. We went ahead and tightened the five screws in. A little trick on when you're putting these screws through. If you get on the other side of the uh, seat here, the side looking in. 
you can line up the screws with the hole. You can find the little hole when it's going through. So when you push the screw in, the tip of the hole will be coming through the little metal part of the frame that way you know you're on because there's going to be a lot of variance when you move this around. So if you're having a problem getting it to tighten right in, just kind of get a set of eyeballs on the other side, make sure the screw's going through the little through the hole where it starts through there, you go ahead and tighten it and it'll be set. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and put our plastic panel on the side. But these things get pretty gross over the years, a lot of dirt and grime and junk. A little tip we use to clean with is scrub and bubbles bathroom cleaner. You can get a couple bucks at Walmart. It works great. Just go ahead and give it a good coat down. Go ahead and get you a rag. Wipe it down real good. And get all the stuff you couldn't get to with it on the seat. Once you got it off, you might as well go ahead and give it a good clean. Alright, now we got that looking new again. We're going to go ahead and pop it back on. Now remember we've got our four clips here. We've got one, two, three, and then this one wraps around the bottom on the back. So first we need to get these, these front three set, and the back one will be real easy to get on. So I'm going to turn this seat here. One of the tricky parts is getting this little groove here, this little pattern right there, matches right here. That's kind of line up in there. So that's kind of a trick to get a little, you know, kind of hold your tongue right, kind of wiggle it in place there. Okay, now that's, it's getting under it. We need to, you can look on the inside of the frame here, and you can find the holes where the, uh, each, each peg goes on to snap it in. seat shop with another tech tip for you. Once you go ahead and recover your bottom with a new leather seat cover, it's always a good idea to give your old existing leather a good tough scrub. Get all that dirt and grease and grime off it. A little trick that we use and definitely don't want to use it over and over, but for a one-time good scrub of all things scrubbing bubbles bathroom cleaner. Seems to be one of our, our clean alls around the shop. But take some of this, get a good coat on there, use a good brush, scrub it, Wipe it off real quick. Don't let it sit on there. Some pretty harsh stuff in here, but it'll really, really get all the grease and grime and stuff out of your old leather. Once you do that, you want to come back over it immediately with some mother's leather conditioner and cleaner. And the, this stuff will, will uh, go ahead and seal anything off, so you don't, you're not going to hurt the leather with the with the scrub and bubbles. You definitely want to come back over the condition it. And like I said, just a one-time clean with with scrub and bubbles. It's not a not meant to clean leather over and over, but a one-time scrub is great. Come back over with a good conditioner. You're going to love it. Thanks again for watching the install video series with the Seat Shop. If you have any questions about leather replacement for your vehicle, please give us a call at 214-710-2565 or visit us on the web at www.theseatshop.com.